Hello everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Today I have an Etsy share. Um, I ordered from um, Rachel at Roxy Creations. <clears throat> I have been wanting um, some of her uh, straw paper. Um, forever. Um, I've gotten a few pieces from Carol at Free Spirit Arts in, you know, random, um, goodies here and there that she sent me. Um, but I've just wanted some of my own. And so I, I didn't order it by itself. Um, the reason I ordered it is because I'm like, well, I'm already ordering I'm already paying a very high shipping cost, um, so I'm I'm g going to add this onto my order. So I what I wanted originally, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but so I added this big, it's this big pack of straw paper. Super happy to have it. Um, I can't wait to start using it. Um, I do want to say normally I try to order and support extremely local businesses. Um, even when I search on Etsy, I'll, um, you know, well, I definitely, well, I, oh, I definitely always just search United States, United States. Um, but I also try to keep it to Washington, Oregon, California, Idaho, um, you know, just the close, closer states, Nevada, like East Coast, I try to keep it, e um, or not East Coast, West Coast. That's not always possible, um, but I, I'm very conscious of the um, carbon footprint of ordering something, you know, from overseas, and it takes a lot of fuel to get it here, and, um, you know, a lot of people touch it, and that's just my own personal thing, and, and uh, you know, I'm not dissing on anybody that orders regularly from overseas I have no I have no issue with you doing it I just know that for me you know I just feel like I have to do every little bit and the reason I'm telling you this is because I, I kind of want you to know this is a huge splurge for me <laughs> this is like um it's just a, a splurge so I am nervous that I'm going to hoard these items um so hopefully I won't do that um, but what I did was she had these, um, these Florentine paper packs and, um, I love Florentine paper. Like I, I, I love this paper. Um, you know, I watch her use it. I've looked at, um, you know, I've seen, I, I, it's just, it's just beautiful. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. So I splurged and um, got myself this pack. So, and there's some other goodies in here too, uh, obviously. Um, when I watch Rachel, I'm, I'm always just in awe of the, the very vintage things that she has. Um, so this is a little, um, a little thank you tag, which I think is really cute. Um, I'm going to take this off and save it. Okay, so we're just going to go through um, each piece uh, because um, it's, I, I'm just in awe. So there's this little, um, little envelope. There's this, uh, like a vet prescription um, from 1966 which I think is really cool. Um, you know, this little postcard. Um, it says printed in England. Um, this envelope. It's just such cool stuff. And these papers, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. This has gold on it. You can kind of feel it a little bit raised um oh, these are just so pretty this has gold gilding on it um 
they're just so pretty so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try setting these try like maybe putting a couple pieces here to give us an, a nice backdrop to see these gorgeous pieces should have thought about that before I started but oh well okay so there's this and they're all plain on the other side they're fairly thin I would say they're like a just regular weight copy paper um, but they have this lovely texture can't really describe it um, this one's a little smoother like this one has some tooth to it um, and this one's a little smoother not as smooth as as wrapping paper but kind of and then just look at this oh so pretty Yeah, and I I haven't, well, until um, this year when she started up her Roxy's Weekly Challenge again, I haven't been watching her channel too much. Uh, I would pop in now and then, but for the first year I was junk journaling. You know, I watched every video every day. Um, and you know what happens, you find more people, um, you kind of form relationships, and then you don't go and see the ones at least I don't that you know that that maybe you looked at in the beginning a lot or that have you know thousands and thousands of followers um, you know I like to support the smaller channels um, but there's just some of the the artists with larger channels are just um, they just have so much to offer like so much inspiration and ideas and and I love Rachel's style. She's kind of, you know, I wouldn't, she's not by any means grungy, but she's also, she, she's got the junk journal part down, um, where her journals look kind of messy, but they're so beautiful. And, and I think it's because of her raw materials and her talent for putting those materials together, um, you know, in such a way, oh, look at this so pretty they're just so pretty and I do have a lot of her digitals um, I feel like I've used this before um, but the the thing about the actual paper is the gold is just so pretty and shimmery um, so yeah, so now I'm back to watching her regularly. Um, and yeah, I was like, yeah, I've, I've really missed her a lot or, you know, her style. I'm going to put these the other way like I was doing. So I don't know if this is a actual um, handwritten letter. I'm not sure. It feels, um, yeah, it looks like it is. So pretty. So yeah, so she threw in some some other um, bits and bobs. Um, I just think they're just so pretty this looks like it could be a copy of something um, you can tell the copy paper from the actual like like this paper just feels different oh look at this this is beautiful this is like um, a book page like lint it feels like linen oh so pretty 
But so my whole point is of sharing this and, you know, just talking about, you know, kind of my buying habits and, and supporting channels and all that is that, um, is that, you know, it, it's okay to, uh, splurge on ourselves, uh, for sure. And, um, oh, look at this. I love these ones that have these stamps on here. They're so cool. And this one even has a, like a little embossed, um, you know, one of those, like when you, when you get something notarized, so pretty. So basically, yeah, if you want to, um, splurge and, you know, get something, you should. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my point. I, I don't really know where I was going with that exactly, but I think that's, that's kind of the point I'm trying to get across is so pretty. This, um, this paper has some kind of watermark on it. Looks pretty cool. I love this. Ugh, I just, I'm trying to picture myself ripping this up and using it and it's really hard for me. <laughs> this is like a receipt. This is pretty cool. I just love the feel. All of these papers just feel so different and interesting. Um, this is pretty cool. Something from 1956. It's all in um, Italian. And then uh, she threw in a couple pieces of straw paper in this pack. So she sells these packs in her Etsy shop, and, and they're actually really reasonably priced. Um, but you will pay a lot for shipping. So, um, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. I guess not probably not as much as is is if you're already overseas, but you know being in the states, it's. Uh, but I do have to say, it came very. I'm gonna say this. This came less than two weeks from when I ordered it. Oh, look at this paper. So pretty. This would have been a cool page in my grimoire. Another couple pieces of straw paper. I think I recognize this from one of her um, digitals. It's pretty cool. And then um, a page out of a, a book. It's kind of cool. I have a book kind of similar to this. It has very similar images. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my... That's my Etsy share from uh, Roxy Creations. Um, if you, I'm, I'm sure most uh, people who watch me regularly, um, you know, know about Rachel already uh, and how amazing of an artist she is, and the journals and the ephemera that she makes are just so cool. And you know, she does the weekly challenge where. You know, mostly you use up scraps and, and pieces of um, junk mail and things, um, you know, to create things for your junk journals. So that's my uh, quick little share for uh, for this day. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will, you know, consider, you know, all in all, even our friends, um, you know, overseas, in, in different countries overseas. Um, you know, I follow a lot of people in the UK and, um, you know, and I have shared, I have sent them things and they have sent me things. And so it's not like I, I refuse to do it. I just, um, I'm very picky, I guess. And I remember commenting on uh, Dee's Crafty Place, you know, her channel about, she was talking about that she's not shipping her journals, um, you know, out of the country. And, you know, in our Etsy shop, I don't ship out of the, we don't ship out of the country either, especially 
I probably would my like my journals and things, but as far as candles, we can barely afford to ship those in the United States. Like if someone orders, you know, uh, three or four jar candles or even big um, five, six inch pillar candles, it costs us almost $20 to ship those. And that's not, they don't pay, we, we offer free shipping on orders over, you know, $35. And so it's, I, I get where D's coming from. Um, so yeah, I totally get it. But what I was saying to D, you know, in my comment, it was like, you know, sometimes people will treat themselves and they will splurge and they don't, they're, it's not that they don't care about the cost of shipping. Cause obviously, you know, we all, you know, our, our money is precious and, and, um, but sometimes you're willing to pay that extra cost to, um, have something that delights you as much as this delights me. So, you know, if I see something in D's shop and I'm like, you know, I really want this and I know you don't ship to the U S but you know, can it all, I'm willing to pay for shipping. I'm, I would totally do that. That, you know, that's, that's something that um, I'm on board with doing. So anyway, that's, I didn't mean to get like so off in the rails uh, so many times, but you know, that's, that's just where I am right now. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you, you know, if you are so inclined, if you have thought about ordering um, these Florentine papers from um, Rachel, uh, I, I highly recommend they're they're beautiful and she throws in a lot of really cool little extra things that that I'm I really enjoy <clears throat> excuse me so yeah so that's it uh, I hope you have a great day thanks for watching uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have not already please consider subscribing I'd love to have you along for the ride and uh, I'll talk to you soon